that one, Nicole? <laughs> yeah. Greg knew before I did. Yep. Yeah. I'll get her. Oh yeah, that's good eater. That's a nice one. Good eater. We can cut that up. Oh, I got one. Doubles. I think I can hoist this one. Almost too big to be hoisting, but right there is what we like. Two fish at one time. That happens a lot at Lake of the Woods. Hey folks, today on Midwest Outdoors, we are out fishing shallow water on Lake of the Woods. We got Nicole Stone in the boat, and we're out with Paul Johnson, the owner of Riverbend Resort. The walleyes like to bite shallow here, and we're gonna catch them. Yay. Is there a nicer one? It's all right. 17 incher. Oh, that's a special one yet. Yeah. Get bigger, you can, any given time you can catch a trophy fish here on Lake of the Woods. But what's going on is uh, the bait fish gather here once that water warms up. They actually spawn in the sand here. We're on the south shore, but Pine Island's a great place to do it. You can pull uh, spinners along, and a lot of times, look at, we're 120, 150 yards off of shore. You can get out of the wind, too, which is a nice way to catch them. Be comfortable and catch a bunch of walleyes. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, there. Perfect. You know, there's a few different ways to get them down there. Paul is using what you'd see used a lot on the charters. Um, just a uh, inline weight. That's about a two ouncer he's pulling there. You know, if you take a look at what I got down here, bottom ouncer, that one's a two ounce too. And then if you take a look over here to Matt's rig, that's a sliding type of bottom bouncer. So really, you know, as long as you got enough weight to get it down there, it doesn't matter. You can kind of use your favorite. That's nice. a nice one. Yep. Go, Matt, go. It. Silver's the color today. I want to eat. We got a beautiful day going out here. Perfect to bring out uh, your own boat and you know a little bit of wind. But like we were talking, Nicole, the lake's a big place. But if you use all the landings available, it really makes it play smaller. And this morning we dropped in at the state park. It's a nice place to drop the new rig in, huh? Yeah. So I finally got to pick up my new boat. I've been waiting for all spring, and one of the first destinations I had to go to was Riverbend. And even though we had some wind in the forecast, it's ending up being great anyways, just by, you know, choosing the right landing and yep. playing it smart. You know, a big lake can definitely be intimidating, but uh, having all the access points, you know, up the Rainy River and along the south shore of the lake definitely makes a, a big lake like this play a lot smaller and uh, it can save you time getting there too. So there's always uh, ample parking. There are nice big landings, easy to use. And if you uh, make yourself mobile on the trailer, you'll catch a lot of fish. Uh, cruiser. Yeah, good job. A little lunch if we can get them here. There you go, Matt. It's a good thing we brought old Matt there on the coal. Thank goodness. <laughs> That was a nice bite. There's a nice one. Chunky. Paul, we were chatting, you know, when uh, folks are coming back, uh, you got the uh, cabins right there along the river. Great look at Canada. A lot of times some great fishing right out the door, but you've also got the hotel in town, huh? That's right, you know, pick your way to stay when you're coming up to Lake of the Woods. You have the options of the resort cabins, the hotels at the Walleye Inn. We have RV camping available as well. You know, that's great. People always like options and 
You can find all that right on the website, right? Yes, yeah, so if you go right to our website, riverbendresort.com, there's all our different options that you can choose from. Pick your lodging, pick your style of fishing, and, or where you want to stay. We're doing it in uh, Nicole's boat today. You can go out on the charter, and there's an option there too for renting boats, correct? Yeah, we've uh, teamed up with Xscape Boat Rentals, and yep. we're uh, doing boat rentals through them. Uh, just a short distance upriver from us, but very easy to, to get down to and, yep. and get access to that boat. So even if you don't have your own boat, they can take care of you. <laughs> This one's going in the box. Nice. It's a nicer fish. Coming over. That. Ah, oh, good yeah. job, Paul. Spit her out right there. Yeah, great net job. Yeah, uh, that was good catching. It's been a day of fish biting a little bit different today than they did yesterday, but they always change, but that's a nice one to end the day. I tell you what, Paul, it's been a good time out here. Folks want to come up and enjoy Riverbend Resort, how do they do it? Go to our website, riverbendresort.com. All their information's on there. We even do updated fishing reports to keep you informed on what's going on and how the bite's going up here on Lake of the Woods. Yep. And we want to put a big thank you out to Nicole Stone and her husband, Matt, for getting us out on the water today. Did a great job catching fish. Folks, I'm Greg Jones, and for Paul Johnson, more Midwest Outdoors is coming right up.